Hi, this is Mike with RPS Solar Pumps. Today I'm going to be answering some common questions from our recent solar pump video. Today's question is for the TPP system, that's our tankless pressure pump system, can it be used to both water livestock and run sprinklers at the same time? And if it can run sprinklers, how far can I put the sprinklers away before I impact the pump or the sprinkler? So the great thing about the TPP system, which is a booster pump system, is that it automatically adapts to the amount of water demand. And so it adjusts the speed of the motor to maintain constant pressure. And if the water demand increases, it simply increases the speed of the motor to match the amount of water needed. So that's great in this type of situation. So if your livestock are drinking and there's a sprinkler running, your pump's just gonna run a little bit faster to make sure both are getting the water they need. In this scenario, let's think we have a stock tank that's plumbed into our TVP system, and then we also have a solenoid valve and a sprinkler running off to the pasture. So the cows could be over there drinking from the stock tank, and when the water lowers and the float valve turns on, water's gonna start flowing into the stock tank, and the pump is gonna automatically sense that and turn on in order to maintain constant pressure across the system. So while that stock tank is refilling, we could also have that solenoid valve turn on and I'd say a 10 gallon per minute sprinkler start going in the pasture. The TBP is automatically gonna ramp up in speed to make sure there's enough water for the livestock trough and enough for the sprinkler system. And then when one turns off, the motor simply slows down because it can sense that water change and so it knows it doesn't need to run as fast in order to maintain that constant pressure. So the system automatically adapts to the amount of water being used at any given time. And then when everything turns off, the pump can also sense that and it shuts down into low power mode. And so it continues to sit there and wait until it senses more water is needed before it turns back on again. So the second part of that question is how far can I run my line over to my sprinklers without affecting performance? And so that's going to come down to the diameter of the pipe you're running and the flow rate, the amount of water your sprinklers are using. We want to make sure the diameter of the pipe is large enough so there's not too much what we call frictional loss inside the pipe so the sprinklers aren't getting sufficient pressure. So in general, we'd probably run about a one inch line for most common sprinklers. But if you have a sprinkler set up with say three or four heads, you might go to inch and a quarter, inch and a half to make sure there's enough flow through that pipe to get the water and the pressure over to your sprinkler. One of the nice things about the TPP system is the pressure is adjustable. So if you're finding you're not quite getting enough pressure out of your sprinkler, you can go back to your pump and increase the pressure up to its maximum limit. And a lot of times that's gonna increase the amount of water getting into your sprinkler and it might just make up for a slightly smaller pipe. We're releasing more solar water pumping videos on a weekly basis, so if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.